Hi guys, today's video is all about the brand new. It's from the Labasius collection for 2023, but I only just realized that this product was part of it about three or four days ago. It's the Chanel Labasius, it's the Healthy Glow Cream, and this is in Rosy Beige. I was having a look at Chanel products on the Smith & Coe website here in New Zealand, and I saw this shade and thought, that's an unusual looking bronzer. And when I looked at it more closely, it's called a Healthy Glow Cream. So I ordered it straight away. I also understand this is available in Australia. I'm not sure whether it's available in the UK, but someone messaged me on Instagram and said that this was going to be available in the US in June when the rest of the Labasia's collection is released there. And one other thing that I've only just realized is with the Labasia's collection, the three travel size bronzers, those are actually a new formula. There are a few different ingredients, I think, but one that is missing from the travel sizes compared to the original ones is that there's no longer any coconut oil. So now that I know that these have been reformulated, I have ordered two of the travel size bronzers in the light and medium shade, and they should be here in the next two or three days, and I will do a video and give my thoughts on those. So this is the outside packaging of the Labasia's The Healthy Glow Cream. As I said, this is in the shade Rosy Beige. There's only one shade at this stage. This has 15 grams of product because it is in the travel size and it has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening and it is made in France. So the packaging itself looks like the travel size bronzers are going to be. And here is one of the original size bronzers, just so you can see side by side the comparison in the sizes. So the only website that I've been able to find, a Chanel website that mentions this, is the one in Australia. And they say that the Labasia's Healthy Glow Cream is a cream gel makeup product that evens out and illuminates the complexion with a subtle rosy veil. It's a lightweight formula, is easy to blend and leaves skin looking smooth, even and luminous. It picks up easily and applies smoothly with the help of a brush. Now I have tried this product. I tried it out yesterday and I think it is just absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to be buying backups of it. They say that this is a travel size creation that you can take anywhere with you and this is limited edition. So this product is made up of wax and powders for a mattifying effect and effortless application. The powders are for an immediate smoothing effect and light reflecting pigments for a radiant healthy glow. And underneath how they say how to use it, it says for best results, apply product before foundation as a smoothing illuminating base, sweeping it over the cheeks, nose, forehead, chin, and decollete. So I used this, you say, instead of a primer. So I wasn't too sure how this was going to work. When I received the packaging, and it has the ingredients on the back here, I noticed that there is, there's wax and there's also some silicon. Years ago when I tried out different primers and they had silicones in them, I found that they just, because I have oilier skin, I found they just sort of sat on the top of my skin and moved around and really made my makeup look oilier throughout the day. So I was a bit weary of this. So I thought with this product, I may still have to use a primer underneath. But as I was saying, I played around with this yesterday. I didn't put a primer on and it is just gorgeous. So we'll open it up so you can take a look at it inside. So it just has just the screw off lid. And like with the bronzers, it has a little cap on top with a tab that you lift off. And I'll hold this up closely just so you can take a look. And I'll just turn down the lighting in front of me. So I'll put some on the back of my hand and I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it. You can just see. So when you put it on your hand, you can feel that it is very smoothing. So that's the swatch of it on the back of my hand. And you can't really see 
this color on my skin tone but you do notice what I find is that it really blurs the pores it also fills in the wrinkles to some degree I think this is just a bit of a miracle product I think it is absolutely fabulous so just before I put it on I just want to talk a little bit more about the ingredients this is fragrance and it just smells like the typical Chanel product this also has beeswax in it and it also has jasmine oil in it as well now part of the ingredients is dimethicone and this is the silicon and this is where I was a little bit weary but this also acts as an inclusive as well it also has caprylic triglyceride and that is an emollient and that helps with the smoothing and it definitely has a smoothing effect and it also has cellulose in it and that helps reduce oiliness in the skin so when they say this is mattifying it's not a dry down flat mattifier at all I think this would work beautifully on all skin types and I wore this yesterday and I'm going to wear the same foundation over the top so yesterday I just wore the La Beige's the water fresh tint because I just wanted a sheer foundation over the top of this to see how it looked and I probably wore this I didn't put it on till later in the afternoon but I didn't take my makeup off till about half past 10 at night so I wore this for at least six hours and as I was saying earlier with products that I used years ago that had silicon in them and they didn't really work with my oily skin I didn't find that the foundation moved around I also didn't powder over the tint like I normally do either I probably will powder over it today because I'm going to wear it longer today so just with this and then the tint over the top for that six or so hours that I wore it when I went to take my makeup off it still had that blurring effect so the smoothness that it gives and the filling in of the pores and in some degree to wrinkles as well for the time that I wore it for that six hours it still had that effect so even though it would be a temporary effect it lasted for at least those six hours that I was wearing it yesterday so I'm just going to put my headband on just to keep my hair out of my face so in the directions they did say it goes on really well with a kabuki brush yesterday I put this on just using my finger so that's what I'm going to do again today and I'll just put it on one side I'll do my left side first so you can see the difference I'm hoping that the camera will pick it up this is one of these products and it doesn't happen often but when I was putting it on yesterday I smoothed it all on and I kept looking and I was really stunned at the effect that it gave so like I said I'm just going to pop it on with my fingers a little bit like this and I'm just going to and I just put it on like I normally would a primer so I put it all over my face as of yet I haven't put this under my eyes I don't normally put a primer under my eyes but over the next few days I might give it a go and see what it's like for under my eyes so it goes on really easy it feels silky smooth putting it on so I'm just putting the rest on the side so I just put on little bits at a time so that's all the left side done except for under my eyes and over my lid and this is the right side and I'm hoping that you can see what it does so with my pores it absolutely covers them and fills them in compared to the side here as I said the color really doesn't do much there is a little bit of coverage with the shade but it's more what the product does itself and also up here doesn't take them away just through here I have this wrinkle through here and through here so on this side that I haven't got it on and on the side now the side that I've put it on even though the wrinkle doesn't disappear it definitely fills it in and smooths it out and your skin just feels silky smooth I think this is such a gorgeous product 
and as long as it keeps wearing well like it did yesterday then I think this is going to be my number one primer. I think it's fabulous. So I think for the right side of my face I'm going to grab a Sonia G brush. This is one of her fusion brushes and this is the classic base so this will be the first time using a brush. So I'm just going to apply it on the side. I think it applies really well just using just using your fingertips really. I don't think there will be much of a difference between using this brush, probably none, between using this brush and just using your fingertips. But it just glides over. So I was saying that this is fragranced and it's not overpowering. I can smell it while I'm putting it on, but it dissipates really quickly. And just like with the bronzers, the little cap, I always put that back on because this is a product that no doubt would dry out if you didn't replace that little cap each time. So that's with all the product on. And really, unless I had to cover, because I've got the redness through here and those sunspots and under my eyes definitely put concealer but it's one of those products if you're quite happy with your bare skin then really you could just wear this and no foundation whatsoever that is the effect that it has I just think it is beautiful and when I first put it on yesterday I just kept looking I couldn't believe it and then I thought I'm sure this isn't gonna sit well on my oily skin but like I was saying I wore it for six six and a half hours yesterday and with the tint over the top both looked absolutely gorgeous so I will put on my tint so you can have a look and then the rest of my makeup I'll put on off camera so I'm going to grab the Le Beige's the water fresh tint this is the normal size this also comes in the travel size with the Le Beige's collection and mine is in the shade medium but I also wear the shade light medium as well so I'm just breaking up those pigments and like I normally do, I'm just going to stipple in this foundation. I think this is the best way to apply these tints. Unfortunately, I have been using the Westman Atelier brush to put this on, but that really <laughs> needs washing. So I'm just using a Sonia G brush today. So that is with all the Le Beige's Water Fresh tint on and although this is one of my favourite sheer foundations and I can wear this all year round with my oily skin I think that the base underneath takes it to the next level and just makes my skin look even more perfected. I think it is gorgeous and I love it how it smooths everything out, fills in the pores it just gives such a gorgeous base. And as I was saying earlier yesterday when I tried this out, I didn't powder over the top, but I will today to see how it looks. But first, off camera, I'm just going to put on some concealer, eyeshadow primer, and also do my eyebrows. I'll powder under my eyes, and then I'll be back to powder the rest of my face. So I've got the Chanel. This is the Natural Finish Loose Powder in front of me, and I just have to give it a bit of a shake. And I'm going to use the Lumiere powder brush and I'm just going to very lightly just powder over the top. And now that I've powdered, it feels beautiful like it always does with this Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder. But it looks even more flawless than it did and I thought that it would because powder does that but that base underneath is just beautiful it really does almost take away my pores so almost not quite but almost poreless through here and I love how it diminishes the lines through here there was another ingredient in here and I think it's the dimethicone and that also has a smoothing it also has a plumping effect as well so it's probably that 
that plumps out the lines a little bit. And of course, as I was saying, that is temporary. But when I was wearing it yesterday for that six, six and a half hours, it did stay looking like this. So today I'm just looking at the time. It is later in the morning. But I would say I'd be wearing this for at least probably 10 to 12 hours. So what I'll do is when I put this video up, I will pin a comment and let you know how it wore for that length of time. So now off camera, I'm just going to put on the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. So here is the finished look with all my makeup on and everything that I've got on my face today I will have listed and linked in the description box below. So this product is amazing. It just takes your makeup to the next level. The only thing is if it starts to break down with my oily skin, like I said, I'm going to be wearing it for at least probably about 12 hours today. So double the time that I wore it yesterday. Yesterday with the six hours it wore, it looked just like this. So it'll be interesting to see if it lasts with the 12 hours. That was a concern of mine with my oily skin. But here's hoping because this product is absolutely amazing. I think it takes everything to the next level. And I love it how it has this beautiful smoothing effect it fills in the pores not quite a hundred percent because you always want to see a little bit of texture with your skin anyway but it definitely smooths things out and just makes everything look really soft and I also love how it softens the lines as well as I was saying I haven't tried this under my eyes I'm a little bit weary to do that but I think later this week I will give it a go and see how it wears but at this stage I just think it is lovely it is the gorgeous Chanel packaging it's lovely to apply it does have the fragrance like I said but that makes the whole experience just that little bit extra and I can't smell it at all. And once you've really applied it, the smell dissipates very, very quickly. But it's not often where I get a product. I have lots of products that I buy and I put on and think, oh, they look really nice. But it's not that often I get a product and put it on and just look in the mirror and think, is it really doing that? And this is definitely one of those products. So even though this is limited edition, I really hope they make it part of their permanent range and possibly bring out some more shades as well. So like I said, I'll let you know how this wore for at least the 12 hours that I'm going to wear it today and I'll pin a comment once I upload the video. So that's it for today's video. I'd love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.